Have you ever spritzed your face with a refreshing cool mist on a warm day or perhaps in a dry air-conditioned room, hoping for a wave of dewy, youthful hydration? It feels so good for a moment, doesn't it? A little luxury, a quick pick-me-up that promises to plumb your skin and give you that healthy glow. But have you ever noticed that maybe an hour later, your skin doesn't feel hydrated at all? In fact, does it sometimes feel even tighter, drier and more papery than before you sprayed it? It's a frustrating mystery. You're doing something that every beauty magazine and skincare guru tells you is good. You're giving your skin water the very essence of life. Yet the result is the opposite of what you want. It can make you feel a little defeated, like you're doing everything right, but still losing the battle against dry, aging skin. What if I told you that this little bottle of so-called hydration could be one of the biggest deceptions in the skincare world? What if that refreshing mist is secretly acting like a tiny thief sneaking into your skin and stealing precious moisture from its deepest layers, leaving you drier than ever before? It sounds completely backward, I know, but in this video, we are going to pull back the curtain on what I call the hydration hoax. We're going to uncover the surprising scientific reason why that innocent facial spray might be your skin's worst enemy. But more importantly, I promise that by the end of our time together, you will not only understand this hidden culprit, but you will also learn the simple yet game-changing technique to turn that mist from a moisture thief into a powerful hydration magnet. You'll learn how to make it work for you to finally get that plump, comfortable and truly hydrated skin you deserve. Growing older doesn't mean giving up on radiant skin, it just means we need to use smarter strategies. Before we dive into this fascinating science, if you are passionate about taking control of your health and aging with vibrancy and grace, I'd be so honoured if you consider subscribing to our channel and turning on the notifications. We share the kind of in-depth wellness wisdom that can truly make a difference in your golden years. And I am always so curious to know who I'm speaking with today. Are you watching from the United States, from Australia, the UK, or somewhere else in our beautiful world? Let me know in the comments below. It brings me so much joy to see how far our community of wise and wonderful people reaches. All right, let's get started. To understand this hydration hoax, we first need to understand the beautiful complex organ that is our skin. Think of your skin's outermost layer, the part you see and touch, as a magnificent brick wall. This wall is called the stratum corneum, or more simply your skin's moisture barrier. The bricks are your skin cells called corneocytes. But what holds these bricks together? That's the mortar. In your skin, this mortar is made of natural fats, lipids, like ceramides, cholesterol, and fatty acids. This brick and mortar wall has two incredibly important jobs. First, it keeps harmful things out like pollution bacteria and irritants. Second, and this is the crucial part for our conversation today, it keeps the good stuff in. And the most precious good stuff is designed to keep in is water. Your skin is naturally hydrated from within. Your body is constantly pushing water up from the deeper layers, the dermis, to the surface layer, the epidermis, to keep it soft, plump and functioning correctly. Your skin barrier, that amazing brick wall, is the gatekeeper that prevents all of that precious water from simply vanishing into thin air. Now a little bit of water vapour does naturally escape. This process is a mouthful, but it's called transepidermal water loss. Let's just call it TU. A healthy, strong skin barrier with plenty of that lipid mortar keeps teal to a minimum. It's like a well-built dam holding back water. But as we age, and due to things like sun damage, harsh soaps, or even just genetics, our production of those natural fats that mortar begins to slow down. The wall becomes a bit crumbly with tiny invisible gaps. When this happens, that transepidermal water loss, that teal speeds up. The dam becomes leaky and more and more water escapes, leading to dehydration, fine lines, flakiness and that tight, 
uncomfortable feeling we all know too well. So you think my skin is losing water, I should add more water to it? It makes perfect logical sense. You pick up a facial mist and the main ingredient is often just that water. Aqua. Maybe it has a few nice sounding botanicals like rose water or aloe, but at its core, it's a water-based spray. You spritz it all over your face. Ah, uh, instant relief. It feels cool, damp and wonderful. But here is where the hoax begins. We need to remember a fundamental law of physics, the principle of osmosis and evaporation. Water always moves from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration. And it loves to evaporate, turning from a liquid to a gas. When you spray a fine mist of water onto your face, you are temporarily creating a very wet environment on the surface of your skin. But the air around you, especially indoors, with heating or air conditioning, is usually much, much drier. It's thirsty for moisture. So what happens? The water you just sprayed on your face starts to evaporate into the dry air. But it doesn't just evaporate on its own. As those water molecules on the surface of your skin lift off and vanish into the air, they create a pulling force. They are thirsty and they look for more water to take with them on their journey. And where do they find it? They pull the moisture that was already inside your skin, drawing it up from the deeper layers and taking it away into the atmosphere, into the... It's a cruel trick. The very act of adding water to the surface results in a net loss of water from within. You're not just losing the water you sprayed on, you're losing your skin's own precious internal hydration reserves as well. This is transepidermal water loss on overdrive. You've essentially opened the floodgates of your leaky dam and invited the dry air to come and take whatever it wants. That's why your skin feels so tight and parched. After that initial feeling of relief wears off, you haven't hydrated it. You've actually unintentionally dehydrated it. It's the exact same reason why licking your lips makes them more chapped, or why taking a long hot shower without moisturizing immediately after can leave your skin feeling itchy and scaly. The water evaporates and it takes your skin's natural moisture with it. It can feel a little bit frustrating to hear this, can't it? It feels like another thing we were told was good for us. It's actually working against us. But please don't feel discouraged or foolish. This is not common knowledge and it's based on a bit of science that skincare marketing conveniently leaves out. The wonderful news is that knowledge is power. Now that you understand this principle, you can make these products serve you. You can flip the script and turn that mist into one of the most powerful tools in your hydration arsenal. This brings us to the most important part of our conversation, how to do it right. The solution is surprisingly simple and it all comes down to a two-step process I call the lock and seal method. You're going to use the mist to your advantage by trapping all that wonderful water before it has a chance to escape. The secret weapon here is your moisturizer or a facial oil. These products contain ingredients called occlusives and emollients. That's another fancy term, but all it means is they form a protective barrier on top of your skin. Emollients like shea butter or squalene fill in the cracks in your skin barrier, smoothing it out. Occlusives like petrolatum lanolin or even thick plant oils create a physical film that literally blocks water from evaporating. So here is the new routine, the lock and seal method. Step one, you take your facial mist and you spray it generously onto your clean face and neck. Don't be shy. You want your skin to be visibly damp and dewy. Step two, this is the critical step. Immediately while your skin is still damp from the mist, and I mean within seconds you apply your moisturizer or facial oil right on top. Don't wait for the mist to dry. Don't pat it in and then go look for your cream. Have it ready in your hand. As you massage your moisturizer onto your damp skin, you are doing something magical. You are trapping all those fine water droplets from the mist underneath that protective occlusive layer of your cream. Now that water has nowhere to go, it can't evaporate into the air because you've sealed it in. 
Its only option is to be absorbed slowly and deeply by your thirsty skin cells. You have just transformed your mist from a tool of dehydration into a supercharged hydration delivery system. The dampness from the mist actually helps your moisturizer spread more easily and absorb more effectively. You're essentially creating a mini moisture infusing treatment for your skin. The water from the mist provides the hydration and the moisturizer provides the lock and seal reinforcing your skin's own natural barrier and preventing that dreaded transepidermal water loss. This simple shift in application makes all the difference in the world. Your skin will stay feeling plump, comfortable and truly hydrated for hours, not minutes. It's not about buying a new product. It's about using the ones you have with wisdom. Now, if you're finding this little science lesson helpful and maybe even having a bit of an aha moment, I would be so grateful if you could take a quick second to tap the like button. It's a small gesture, but it tells YouTube that this information is valuable and it helps other seniors who might be struggling with the exact same issue to find this video. It truly helps us grow our community and I thank you for that. So we've learned the how, but what about the what? Does it matter what kind of mist you use? Absolutely. While the application technique is the most important part, the ingredients in your mist can take your results from good to great. When you're looking at a facial mist, you want to see more than just water. Look for ingredients called humectants. Humectants are moisture magnets. They are substances that love water and actively pull it from the air and from the deeper layers of your skin to the surface, holding it there like a sponge. The most famous humectant is hyaluronic acid. It's a superstar for a reason. It can hold up to 1,000 times its weight in water. When you spray a mist containing hyaluronic acid onto your face and then seal it in, you're not just trapping water, you're giving your skin a magnet that will continue to draw in moisture throughout the day. Another wonderful humectant to look for is glycerin. It's an old school, inexpensive and incredibly effective ingredient that helps to hydrate the skin and strengthen that all-important moisture barrier. You might also see ingredients like aloe vera, honey sodium, PCA or panthenol, which is a form of vitamin B5. These are all fantastic humectants that will add a powerful hydrating punch to your mist. So your ideal mist contains water plus a good dose of these humectants. What should you avoid? Be very wary of mists that contain a high concentration of alcohol, specifically denatured alcohol or SD alcohol. These types of alcohol can give a product a quick drying, weightless feel, but they are incredibly drying and irritating to the skin, especially mature skin. They strip away your skin's natural oils and damage that precious barrier we've been talking about, making your teal problem even worse. A little bit of a fatty alcohol, like settled alcohol, is fine, that's different. But if you see alcohol high up on the ingredients list, it's best to steer clear. Also, be mindful of strong artificial fragrances or a ton of essential oils if you have sensitive skin, as these can sometimes be a source of irritation. Simple is often better. A mist with water, glycerin, hyaluronic acid, and maybe a calming botanical like chamomile or green tea is a beautiful and effective choice. Now that we've mastered the art of misting, let's broaden our perspective a little. This principle of evaporation and water loss applies to other areas of our lives too. Think about the environment you live in. Do you have the heat blasting in the winter or the air conditioning running all summer? Both of these things create very dry air that is constantly pulling moisture from your skin. Investing in a simple humidifier for your bedroom can make a world of difference. Not just for your skin, but for your sinuses and your breathing as well. It puts moisture back into the air, creating a more balanced environment so the air isn't so desperate to steal it from you. Also, think about cleansing. Are you using a harsh stripping cleanser that leaves your skin feeling squeaky clean? That squeaky feeling is actually the sound of your skin's natural protective oils being washed down the drain. This severely compromises your skin barrier. Instead, 
opt for a gentle, creamy or oil-based cleanser that cleans your skin without stripping it. And just like with the mist after you cleanse, while your skin is still slightly damp, apply your serums and moisturiser to lock that water in. Never let your face air dry completely after washing. That's a golden opportunity to trap hydration that you don't want to miss. It might feel a bit unsettling to learn all this I understand. It can seem like we've been unknowingly sabotaging our own efforts. But I want to reframe that thought for you. Please don't see this as a list of mistakes. See it as a collection of new wisdom. You are now equipped with knowledge that most people don't have. You have the power to make your skincare work smarter, not harder. You can now look at a product or a habit and understand the science behind why it does or does not work. This is incredibly empowering. It puts you back in the driver's seat of your own well-being. So let's do a quick recap of our new Smarter Hydration Strategy. It's simple, really. First, we understand that just spraying water on our face and letting it dry will pull moisture out of our skin through evaporation. This is the hydration hoax. Second, to defeat this, we use the lock and seal method. We missed generously onto clean skin. Third, and this is the non-negotiable step, we do not let it dry. We immediately, while the skin is still damp, apply our moisturizer facial oil or a hydrating serum to trap all of that water. And fourth, for bonus points, we choose a mist that contains beneficial humectants like glycerin or hyaluronic acid, and we avoid mist with drying alcohols. It's a simple series of steps, but it will fundamentally change the way your skin feels. You might start to notice less tightness throughout the day, a reduction in the appearance of those fine dehydrated lines, and an overall look of plumpness and health. Imagine feeling that comfortable, dewy skin feeling, not just for 5 minutes, but all day long. That's the difference these small tweaks can make. I know that as we get older, our bodies present us with new challenges. Our skin gets thinner, our joints might ache, and our energy might not be what it once was. It can be easy to feel discouraged to look in the mirror and only see the things that have changed. But I want to encourage you to shift that perspective. Every line on your face is a map of a life lived filled with laughter, tears, and wisdom. Taking care of your skin is not about chasing an impossible standard of youth. It is not about vanity, it is an act of self-respect. It's about feeling comfortable and confident in the beautiful skin you're in right now in this chapter of your life. You deserve to feel good. You deserve to feel radiant. And it is never, ever too late to learn a new way to care for yourself. The small, consistent choices we make every day are what build a life of vitality and wellness. One smart swap one new technique at a time, you are taking charge of your health. Now, I would be so honoured to hear from you. Has this information been an eye-opener? Have you ever experienced this feeling of your skin getting tighter after using a facial mist? Or perhaps you have a favourite hydrating product or tip that you'd like to share with our community? Please leave a comment below. I read every single one. And your stories and insights are what make this community so special and supportive. We all learn from each other. If this video has helped you today or taught you something new, please show your support by giving it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel and click that little notification bell. We have so many more science-backed practical secrets to share for thriving in your golden years. And I would hate for you to miss out your health, your happiness, and your independence are worth fighting for. And we are in this fight together. Thank you so much for spending this time with me today. Remember to be gentle with yourself and with your skin. Stay hydrated the smart way, stay wise, and I cannot wait to see you in the next video.